Hey there, it's Mike Lofito, the renegade agent from SellMoreRealEstateToday.com. Wanted to talk to you about your business card. If you're more, if you're like most real estate agents and most people in the real estate industry, <clears throat> chances are your business card sucks. Sorry to step on your toes and offend you, uh, but again, most most agents they think about pretty. It's got to be a pretty card, and I have my picture real big, and and I'll have my number, and that's about it. Well, again, when when developing your business card or when thinking about redoing your business card, <clears throat> the real estate industry really put the photo on the, on the business card. We're the ones that really started putting your face on there. And that, that's good. It's not bad. You're building your brand. But uh, you really got to have your, your USP on there, your unique selling proposition. What makes you different? Someone grabs your business card within five seconds. <clears throat> What's your tagline? What's different? Why should they buy or sell a home through you versus the competition? Don't tell me it's it's because of the company I'm with or whoever. What What is your USP? You know, I'll sell your home in 39 days guaranteed or I'll rebate money back to you or, hey, buy a home through me uh, or, you know, not just something wishy-washy like uh, I'll work hard for you or I love referrals. That's cheesy. So what makes you different? Okay, that's a whole other lesson in itself. USP, that's called a unique selling proposition. Your contact info needs to be easy to read. That's an, a given. But what's your offer? Do you have some type of unique offer? Okay, on the back of my business card, I have an offer for both buyers and sellers because that's who I'm dealing with, right? Or they're a buyer prospect or a seller prospect. Uh, again, use both sides of your business card. Don't just use one. You got a lot of real estate on the back side of that card. Utilize it with testimonials or something. The other thing is if you use those nice high glossy business cards on the back side, use non-glossy. Uh, again, if you're at a function and someone wants to write down something they can't write it down on, on those glossy cards so on the back side at least have it non-glossy so you can write on that and then um, the, the last thing is bring a ton of business cards give them to people wherever you go I don't just give out a card I always get a card in return because I'm a control freak and I don't trust that someone's gonna call me so I like getting their card so business cards if your uh, business card meets the above criteria we just talked about, then chances are your business card doesn't suck. But unfortunately, the, over 90% of the business cards I see when I'm at functions and real estate agents hand me their card, they're very blah. They don't have a USP. They don't have both sides. They don't have offers. They, they, they're just very bland. Bland doesn't do well when you're in an elevator with five other agents. Your card better stick out compared to the other four agents if you're talking to a client. So that, that's what I like to compare it to. Anyways, hope you're doing well. Take care. Sell more real estate today.com. Mike Lafito.